The Missionary Sisters of the Sacred Heart are now located right around the corner from Cabrini in their own cottage right next to the President's House. Easy to get to by foot or by any means of travel, those affiliated with the Missionary Sisters welcome everyone with open arms. Welcome to Cabrini Cottage, the offices of the Missionary Sisters of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, where you're always welcome and the cookie jar is always full. Come on inside. It's extraordinarily important for Cabrini students to know about Mother Cabrini because she was an inspirational figure. Of course, she's the namesake of the college. Her story is one that really can bring about uh, great avenues of inspiration for our students. Her history is one that really is one of great adventure, of risk taking, of doing with very little resources uh, for a woman of her time to go on to found 67 institutions around the world. Mother Cabrini was uh, Italian by birth, uh, born in a family that were considered to be peasants in those days, uh, 1850. And the cultural uh, background of the family, they had, um, they were very uh, devotional in the Catholic Church. It's true that Mother Cabrini had a fear of the water, but that started when she was a little girl and she fell in a stream and somehow found herself on the bank of the stream, but she doesn't know how she got out of the water, but she almost drowned. And that was a very traumatic experience that left her with a fear of the, of the ocean. Yet in spite of that fear, she crossed the ocean about 24 times between the United States and Italy and the United States and then sometimes sailing even to South America and Central America. Uh, she traveled around wherever there, the mission was originally to the Italian immigrants. And that is why the Holy Father told her this is where she was to come and bring the sisters. I feel that we really need to instill in our curriculum a component as students begin their studies at Cabrini about the history. We have a wonderful location on campus in the Holy Spirit Library that's called the Cabrini Honor Room where we have many of the artifacts of Francis Cabrini her checks that she wrote. She's such a contemporary figure. Uh, her dining utensils, a nightgown. Um, it really brings about the actual person that she was. And it's true that many students do not know the history of, about Mother Cabrini. And I think the problem there uh, lies in the fact that as freshmen, they were not exposed to that. The purpose is to spread the love of Christ everywhere. That. Uh, Mother Cabrini had that foundation within her, and uh, she, she felt called by God. Thanks again for coming. On location, for location. Come again soon.